Hello, today I will show you how to run Blitz reports. The idea of Blitz report is that you have it available in all your responsibility menus. So if you are in a specific responsibility, like here, for example, I'm in receivable surgeon operations, then you have the Blitz report menu entry here. And you also have an Excel icon. So you can click on that Excel icon and it opens the report that you ran directly before. So the AR customers insights in this case. To run the report, you just click on run and that starts a background concurrent process. On the second button here, you see the status, so it showed pending. And then while it's running, it shows running. And then once it's completed, it automatically downloads the output file. And if you have your browser configured to open it automatically, it op opens up like this. And to select the different reports, you would uh, can either choose a different report here from the list of value like this. Or you can also double click in the fields. We can double click on every field to bring up the list of value. That works in the same way for report names as well as for parameters. So if you have a parameter, let's say here the country name, you can just double click and then select the country. And you can also use the F1 key to find different reports. You can click on the F1 key and then it brings up the list of reports as well. The reports that you see, depend on the login responsibility. So if you are configured as a standard user, you only see the reports in the responsibility that you currently log in with. So for example, now I'm in receivable, so that's why I see only the receivable reports and so on. And the list of reports is ordered by the ex most recent run date. So the ones that you ran directly before are shown at the top. So if you always run the same three reports, then they'll show up here in the, at the top of the list. So for example, an accounting rules listing was the one that was run uh, two reports before and so on. And you also have a full text search. So if you do not know the report name, you can just type a search string. So you could search for, let's say a specific topic, let's say tax and customer. It works like a Google search. So you can also combine different keywords and the search first looks into the report name in the description, but also in the underlying SQL query. So you could search for a column name as well, as an example. And further to the right, you see then where these reports were found by text, by the keywords text and customer in this case. So here we do not have any report matching by the name, but we have reports matching by the underlying SQL query. That means in this first report, customers insights, we have the the columns related to text and related to customers. So let me go back to a different report. Let's say the AR passed your invoice. You can also, when you have a report open, you can also select templates in the second field. So the first field is the report name field. The second field is the template field. You can either select available templates or you can create your own layout templates. I will show that in the next uh, video. So you could, for example, select a template having a dashboard with Nginetics logo. This is an example. And then the report has an additional layout. So depending on which template you selected, you can have different layouts like this, for example. So here we have more uh, advanced formatting in Excel. And if you don't have a template, if you take it out, then the default layout is that it always creates just a plain Excel file. So now it runs again and it has just the, the data like this. And on a template, let me select the template as an example. You can also, when you have parameters here, there's something else to explain. So you can select the parameters also by double click on the list here. And you also have the possibility to select more than one parameter at a time. So you could, for example, use this multiple values checkbox here. If you would like to run a report for more than one customer, for example, you can select the customers either. Oh, this is customer number now. Let me go to the customer name field. So you can select the customer names one by one like this. Or you could, if you know the values, you could also type them or copy and paste them semicolon uh, separated in a field. So you see when I select the parameters, they have a semicolon as a separator. And then when you run a report, it would run exactly for these two customers. Let me see if we have any data. 
Yeah, we were lucky. We have for those two customers, we have data. The other thing which you can do is instead of typing or selecting the values one by one, you can copy them from an Excel file. So you could, for example, here we have the list of the largest customer names. So you can just copy a list of parameter values from an Excel file, and then you can copy and paste it. Copy and paste, you would need to click on this editor window, or you can use the short key, Control E, to bring up the editor, paste the values, and then click OK and run it. And that is very convenient because you can run the report for a list of parameters that you have copied from a different Excel file like this. You see now it runs only for the largest customers. The other thing that you can do with these parameters is that you can save them as a default value. So here in the top, you have an actions menu. And here you have the possibility to save the parameter values either against the template or for the report. So if you save it for the report, so now it's saved. That means next time you open up the report, let me go somewhere else to a different report and then go back to our report. You see it has these parameter values defaulted again. To remove them again, you can just click on clear default values. So that's how that works. And all reports, they run as a background concurrent request. You can also go back to view requests here. And then you see the requests or the reports here as well. And you can, for example, if you want to open a previous request, you can just click on view output and it works in the same way as with Oracle standard reports. You can also, uh, here, this was an output not producing data. So you can also schedule these reports and use delivery options and so on. So I will show that in a later video as well. And the other thing on the screen is here on the right hand side, you have a drop down list and this drop down list shows categories. So reports can be added to specific categories and then you can quicker access them. So for example, our out of the box reports, they are in the Engenetics category. If you want to choose one of those, you can just click on a category and then select one of those reports. Or you can select, yeah, here be a publisher. We also have some reports imported from, from Oracle Standard. Let's say here this one, AI accounting rules, listing. And then you can select the reports like this. Okay, that was a quick introduction on how to run, how to select and how to run Blitz reports. Thanks for watching.